Thanks, Haley and Ashley. I stopped by a protest here in Morgantown where people say restricting gun laws will do more harm than good. West Virginia is fired up over gun control. The Mountain State is ranked top five in the nation for gun ownership, so it's no surprise residents are opposed to having stricter gun laws, and even WVU students are taking a stand and fighting for their right to bear arms. To call your Congress people. You all are voting age. Since the devastating Sandy Hook massacre, it's hard to miss out on the controversial debate about our right to bear arms. That caused WVU student Edward Olish to come out on the streets of Morgantown and take a stand on the touchy subject. We have the right to bear arms, therefore we should have the right to buy arms. Um, and we believe that our Bill of Rights is a never-changing document that was written for a never-changing human condition. Bill of Rights or not, there were some who just couldn't find a happy medium with Olish. WVU student Thomas Marshall was one of the many students at the protest who bantered with him. He believes the government has the right to regulate guns. I think weapons should be regulated because we live in an administrative state where they can regulate everything from our food to whether or not we wear seat belts, but I don't think anyone's coming to take our guns. In the past year alone, there have been nine school shootings at schools just like this one. And in light of the recent Sandy Hook massacre, people are definitely forming their opinions on gun control. Olish believes taking our guns away won't fix the problem because there's another issue we overlook. Socioeconomics are the basis of all crime. It's the, it's that or mental illness, it's the two. But the thing is, is that should show people that even when you allow guns, crime rate doesn't go down. When you ban guns, crime rate doesn't go up. No matter what side of the argument you may be on, spectators like Marshall took away a major lesson from the protest. It's just nice to see open debate in a giant college community like this. Debate, something else Americans bear each and every day. The Obama administration is proposing a ban on military assault weapons and expanding background checks. New York is the first state to sign a stricter gun control bill since the Sandy Hook tragedy. Haley and Ashley, back to you.